Hello and welcome to 360 Gamercast episode 61 for Tuesday the 2nd of March 2021. I'm your host Mark Webb, Gamertag, Pearson ID, Steam ID, Webby, 360G, and joining me on this fine evening is... Mr. Peebs. My nostrils really hurt, said about Dan. <laughs> Sensei Switch. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. So, the first thing I would like to say is a big thank you to everyone who turned up for our community game and I on Wreckfest this week. It was welcome. epic. We had a full lobby going. It was brilliant. So I've got a few thank yous to say. I'm going to read out the names that I've got in the screenshot. Uh, TVK, Captain Venom, Hogarth, Ninja Rods, AJ Geezer, Laughing uh, Clarky79, <laughs> uh, a random, the one random in the screenshot, Super Rally 14. God, mm-hmm. we we gave him, him some shit, did, didn't we? <laughs> uh, Stunty, Peebs, of course, Laffa Fummy, Fumi, I don't know how to say, say your name, mate. Cinnamon Dan, obviously, he's here. Shady Fox, Ruski Do, and Rince Windy. Uh, Colin also joined us. Yeah, against his uh, well, his <laughs> judgment, he was yeah. sulking. He he was because because he, <laughs> well, he's a typical American, isn't he? He's not happy unless he's shooting people. So <laughs> the thing is, we said to me, it means to be quite at home. We were playing one of the America's national sports, so um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't see the problem. He should have been grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not keen on it, which surprises me. In I think it's a great game. Yeah, I mean we are that game. I mean we, we've already well, I've already put the the word on the street for Wreckfest again this coming Friday because uh, I yeah. oh, my I loved it. it was so, the banter was just hilarious and Stunty's story of uh, <laughs> uh, well, it was a little bit rude. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if you want to say it or not. I don't know if we if if we should. I think you should keep it to the group because it'll give yeah. people the the um, enticement to come back um, for yeah. more. Let him, more. We can let him tell it next week. I think he's coming yeah. on next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a great game because um, I know we've done. We used to have the Forza nights, didn't we? Uh, Horizon yeah. and Forza Seven or whatever. And for me, although they're okay, they're not as enjoyable because with them games it is more about skill so you get the same people winning every game and i always come last in them but with this one with wreckfest because it's a little bit more yeah some sort of skill involved but there's a lot of luck mm-hmm. as well because you can be in the lead and then spin out someone spins you out and then you, you go from first to last and that happened to quite a lot of us but yeah he's having different winners i think most of us won a, at least a one race at some point yeah. during the yeah during the night um and it changes it up from um you can just do your standard races or you can do the last man standing, which you can yeah. set uh, um, when you're hosting. Because I managed to host it and it was pretty much yeah. our, our lobby for the whole evening, wasn't it? And we, I was mm. just in control of what uh, types of um, games we were playing. But um, there's some really good tracks on there. Yeah. The Death I, Loop. Oh, that one is brilliant. I'm surprised just how many tracks are on there for, as well for the multiplayer. Um, yeah, but what's interesting as well, peeps, is um, on a private lobby you can only have eight people, um, but if you yeah. host a public lobby, you can have sixteen. Now, for some yeah. reason, they all seem to be private servers, so there wasn't any private lobbies left, so we had to go public anyway. And I'm glad we did because we managed to fill the lobby with community members. But whoever's hosting the lobby you can just kick out the randoms anyway, so. <laughs> So so when we're in party, so when someone new joined the party chat saying, oh, I can't get in, your lobby's full, we, we were just like, right, let's kick out a random. <laughs> Who, Which random won the last race? Let's kick him. <laughs> that was yeah. bloody hilarious. It really was. Yeah. Oh, I don't had that much fun playing anything for, in a long time. It was so fun. And it was nice to hear yeah. voices to talk to people who hadn't, you know, who hadn't spoken to in ages as well. So, well, yeah, I know. Yeah. In the old days, you know, on the X three sixty, when we would always have a, a full party, you could, yeah. you, I think the maximum was eight. Was it was it six or eight on the three? Eight. It was eight. Eight. It was eight. eight. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. we, I, mean, I wasn't sure what the maximum amount was on for this one, but we did have sixteen people in party chat at one point, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, is that the maximum? 
I think so. I'm not, I'm God not knows, 100%, man. but I think it may be. But yeah, that's the most I've ever had in a party at one time. That was brilliant. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Really Stunty bad. stories of everyone in stitches. Yeah. Um, you know, and just it was just it was just good. Like <clears throat> everyone was just getting along, just having a laugh, just ramming into each other, smashing them out. Um yeah, on a couple of races I was getting picked on. <laughs> Took it all in good fun. It was so it was so good. Uh I I just loved it because there's nothing more satisfying, you know, when when you're behind someone and you're like, I'm gonna take them out. And because that's part part of Wreckfest, it's you know, it's destruction derby top races, you're meant to smash into each other. There there's no no one's getting angry. Like so if it was Forza, yeah. people yeah. would get really annoyed if 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 they were getting spun out on corners, wouldn't they? So Yeah, that that was the thing that used to put me off on Forza. You used to get the people who took it far too seriously and would yeah. moan if you knocked them. Yeah. I'm like, well Yeah. Tough. <laughs> yeah, where where <laughs> where's on this? Breaks. You know, on this, you know what what you're getting into, and everyone's just yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. everyone to just just took it in good fun if they got taken out, which is really nice to see. So, yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, best game of night we've had so far. Most people, brilliant fun. Yeah, so. um, yeah. And like you say, hopefully this Friday we'll do it again. Friday seems to be a bit of a game of night going at the minute every week. So yeah, yeah. And I know there's some people that can't do Friday nights, but. Um, it's just, I mean, like most of us are free, aren't, aren't we? And I think most people are free on a Friday night because most normal people don't work weekends, do they? So that's kind of your first evening where you're free. So, um, but we'll try and organize stuff on other nights as well. If we, if we're available, but I, th- I think Friday nights are a good one at the moment. Yeah. yeah. All good. All good. Anything else you want to say on the community night? No, man. Cool. Well, make sure you all turn up to the community night on Friday. I've made a little advert. You can see on the screen now. It took me ages to make that. It really did. I'm really proud of my art there. So, uh, <laughs> 360G Game of Night, Friday, 8pm. Be there or be square. Cool. Okay, so let's get into the news. This is the news. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, did any of you listen back to the podcast last week? No. Oh, no. I put a little news oh, jingle in it. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I did, yeah. Well, I did know it's the news jingle, yes. There you go. I'm trying to sound a bit more professional. I know that's quite difficult for us, but, yeah, I thought it was quite cool. I just need, if anyone listening, I'll put it out next week. I need a jingle for what you've been playing. Just something yeah. cool, you know, but I, <laughs> well, I don't not, have to not, do it myself. Yeah. yeah, don't do it like that because that's not cool. <laughs> so, well okay yeah but it's just something cool that says like, what you've been playing with some cool music in the background <laughs> yeah alright okay <laughs> yeah. I've got well, it's just like okay or I'll do it like a I'll do it like a gangster rap style like dum, dum, tss, dum, tss, what you've been playing yo motherfuckers dum, dum, tss, you know like, like that I'll say <laughs> no no okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, Byron said he can do one. Okay. okay. I'd like to hear what, what you can do. <coughs> Remember, this is family friendly ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. We, yeah. We, uh, yeah. Okay. We right, allow, you know, one, one motherfucker and two bastards. Yep. Right. Okay. There's been news. So I'm, I'm a little. Uh, it's a little bit annoying that Stunty's not on because we watched the um, State of Play. PlayStation State of Play. Did anyone else watch it? No. No. Oh, just me then. <laughs> just right. Oh. I, I, I thought it was on, but I was in bed, so I, I fell asleep. All oh, right. Okay, that's fair yeah. enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna steal an article from the Metro that had them all listed. Nice. So um, this is all what, what they all talked about. So I'm just gonna gloss over some of these because I looked a bit meh. So Crash Bandicoot Four, meh. Uh, Returnal, I think this looks really good. Because uh, I was a bit, like, when I first saw it a little while ago, I thought, oh, this game looks... Mm, I wasn't really sure, but... it Because it's about this woman who, like, crash lands on this planet. And I think time kind of repeats itself, like, if she dies. But 
it's it looks very spooky in places. So it's like, like some of the gameplay is like third person, very actiony, and there. But then there were some spooky parts, a bit like uh, like that PT demo that that, mm-hmm. that was out like in a spooky haunted house. I'm like, what's a spooky haunted house doing on an alien planet after all this action and stuff? So. I think it's got quite a lot of different. Well, from what it looks like, it's got a lot of different gameplay mechanics. Uh, it, it just looks quite interesting. I'm quite intrigued as to what's um, going to happen with this game, story wise. Um, Is it yeah. the house mark that's doing it? <clears throat> I'm not sure on the developer, to be honest. Um, but uh, all, uh, all I can say is that I, I just think it looks quite. <clears throat> it just looks quite interesting. So just check out the train on YouTube. Uh yeah, and that's a PlayStation exclusive. So or is it? Wow, well, mm. <laughs> it's coming out the thirtieth of April as well. So it's not even that far out. Cool. Okay, shall we move on? Yeah, man. Okay, yeah. so uh, some really shit game called Knockout City that looks super shit. Uh, it's set in a city, cartoony like um, Fort Shites kind of graphics. Yeah. Um, and you're throwing balls at people in the streets and it just looks a bit shitty. Oh, is this the EA one? Yeah, I think this is so EA. It's sort yeah. of announced on something else. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it looks all right, but it's it's not for us, obviously. Mm. That's all it is, really. Yeah, okay, so there's that. I think I think overall, I think the gist of like what, what a lot of people have said is that State of Play was a little bit disappointing. Uh, a martial arts game called Sifu, which uh, martial arts people are interested in. Um, I'm going to skip that one. Um, the one game that I did look think that looked quite interesting is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Uh, I've not played any of the Five Five Nights at Freddy's game, but they're 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 proving quite popular at the moment. But um, this one's they're different to the. Yeah, I know they are. Yeah, I just can't be asked because I watched a trailer of one and you just sit in a security room and. Yeah. They're not for everyone, but but this one is a first person walking around. You know, first person kind of. It's not a shooter, but you're you're actually walking around this kind of play area place, and you've got to escape. Yeah, so the gameplay looks quite interesting, actually. So it's it's all dark, and you've got a little torch in 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 in, in some of it. So it's also in this big play area kind of mall place. And you just got to try and um, escape, basically. But you got all those freaky dull things chasing you around. The animatronic. Yeah, yeah. So it looks kind of freaky, but the graphics look absolutely stunning. So this what really caught my attention. And it's like that. It's not like meant to be real, like super realistic. It's quite cartoony style, but quite freaky at the same time. So yeah, I think that one looks looks quite cool that's that's one to watch really and i'm not sure if that's gonna be an exclusive to the sony platform or that because 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 those games are normally out It'll probably be on, they? like they're mainly on pc aren't they so yeah they've probably yeah. just got like a right to that one for yeah yeah console distribution. <clears throat> uh, odd world soul storm i mean i'm not really into the odd world games uh i used to love them back in the day yeah. isn't that um Aren't they giving that away on PS5 next month? That's my next thing I was going to say. It's coming out oh, on PS Plus. Uh, I mean, the graphically, it looks good. I mean, I used to love the Abe, Abe's Odyssey on the PS1 because yeah. back then, like, the like graphically, it was, you know, you hadn't yeah. really seen anything like that. And be, being a kid, I really appreciated the fart jokes, you know, that, well, the fact that you could make him fart without a press of a button. Um, but obviously I'm a little bit older now and that kind of sense of humor has waned a little bit. Um, yeah. And, and, and it just feels a bit more busy than it. I think I feel like when I was watching the trailer, it's lost a lot, a lot of its simplicity. Um, there, there's a lot more things that you can do with Abe. And I know a lot of people would like that, but sometimes, I like thing to keep things simple. Just, you, just want, you just want fart gags. That's all you want, yeah. Pretty much. Well, no, but I, I don't know. I fell out I, after Abe's Odyssey. I just fell out of it, really. But yeah, I mean, it looks. I mean, I know a lot of people will like it, but it's not a webby game. Um, this Kena Bridge of Spirits looks actually quite quite good. Um, I'm 
kind of interested in that. It looks yeah, and it's only going to be 30 quid. Ooh. Is it? Oh, that's yeah. worrisome. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> well, it can be, but well, I, I think it looks worrisome quite... Worrisome along the lines of... Is it sure? Not is a it physical version? Mm. Might have a physical version, yeah. like for that price. Because initially, when they announced this, I was thinking, "Oh, this looks a bit kiddie." But I quite liked what I saw. It reminded me of Fabled a little bit, just with that art style, exploring the really nice areas, etc. Um, I didn't really see much gameplay, but uh, from, from from what we saw in the trailer, there it looks very magical, like you know, like really beautiful areas and stuff. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what that holds. It's coming out on PS4 as well, so so that's good, so I could actually play it. Uh, they did show... Oh, it's out on PC as well. Okay, that's even better. Get it for super, super duper cheap. Um, Deathloop, I didn't... Uh, I'm not even going to talk hasn't, about that. Hasn't, the, hasn't that come out yet? They keep, they keep advertising it. And it feels like it's already been out and in a bargain bin <laughs> No, no, no. Um, so the other piece of news, I'm going to get into a little bit of a Sensei Switch rant now. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this since you blew up on Facebook earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to the PS5. It's called Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrad, Integrade. Oh, I fucking can't talk right now. <laughs> Anyway, just because I'm st- the the piss is just boiling in my blood already. Piss is so, boiling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't mind them doing uh like so 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 what they're doing actually is just get into some good news first. It's coming to PS Plus next month. Yay! Which is awesome, but the PS Plus version will not work on the PS Five. So if you want the PS Five version, you need to buy that. So if you already own the PS4 version, you can upgrade that to PS5, or you need to buy it for the PS5. Okay. Um, They showed off a trailer showing the differences between the PS4 and 5 version. I don't think it looks that different. That's my personal opinion. Right. This is where I'm going to get pissed off. Here we go. The piss is getting tepid. They um, announced some DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yuffie DLC. Now... With Yuffie DLC, they're introducing a brand new character again. One, it doesn't make sense with the original story because Yuffie doesn't appear till much later in the game and she's an optional character. This is a whole separate story with her in Midgar and um, doing loads of stuff for the for the Wutai government because in the original story, Wutai and Midgar used to be at war. And they're kind it's of... mentioned as well in the yeah. remake. They talk yeah. about it a fair bit in yeah. the beginning. Yeah, it's a bit of a cold war, I think, when we get to that part. Um, but yeah, but what's really fucking pissed me off? Yuffie <laughs> DLC is exclusive only to the fucking PS5, you pants. I can't believe they've done that. Is that being confirmed? That's, they just showed it, said PS5 only. Fucking wankers. I'm so pissed off at that. I'm not going to be able to ever play it unless they uh, bring it out on another system. So not only that, right? So it was a whole PS5 event, but then afterwards um, Square Enix were like, but we've got more stuff to show you. So on their Twitter and their YouTube channel, (laughs) right? They were like, right, so first of all, there's no news of Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to any other system. I'm really fucking pissed off straight away. Still. Well, I think that might have been, again, they didn't want to sort of, mm. like, knock off the luster of them announcing mm. the PS5 mm-hmm. upgrade. Mm-hmm. So it will come eventually, because it's, yeah. it's business. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Would you, would you not buy a PS5 just for that, then? No, I mean? no, no, no. If you can no. find one. Well, yeah, there is that. <sighs> no. So, next piece of news that pissed me off. I think Square Enix are just... They're, they're losing the fucking plot. They really are losing the plot. Go on. This is the best bit. So they're now <laughs> fucking announced a game, mobile phone only, for the Final Fantasy <laughs> Battle Royale game. <laughs> like, haven't we already not got enough fucking Battle Royale games as it is? I was just like... I was just watching this trying to thinking, what the absolute fuck are these guys thinking? 
It's just you, you've baffles got to stop the mind. The to the cash cow, mate. Oh. Yeah, that's, what, that's what they're thinking. They're thinking money. Yeah, but yeah. it's mobile phone only as well. And I'm like thinking, what yeah, the that's fuck hard. are they? It's just so odd. Well, so, the, this is the thing, like, as much as we rag and hate mobile gaming, and I think it's generally a bag of shit, personally, it still makes more money than all the other systems that games are released on. That's where a majority of their companies, like these companies, make money off of microtransactions and other nonsense. Yeah, because everyone's got a phone, money. haven't they? Yeah, but, Everyone's yeah, got a phone. Sorry. Not everyone likes gaming on a phone. All right. Well, well no, I don't really game. Smear your thumbs all over the screen. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> so, so they were like, "Oh yeah, buy a f- well." Just if you don't like control. it, you should just buy a Razer Kishi for hundred pounds to plug into your phone to make it like a switch. No, a phone's a phone. I don't want to play a game on a fucking phone. I want to play on my Switch, my PlayStation, my Xbox, and my PC. A phone is for ringing people. I know I'm sounding really old right now. But I don't want a game on a fucking a phone. Phone is for rigging people. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! It might eventually come as like some free download on consoles just to get them even more yeah. money. They can just do a cheap, lazy port, can't they? Yeah. Free to play. Yeah. So yeah, so there was that piece of news. Right, next piece of news. <laughs> you calm down now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be even fucking She's more got pissed. More. I've got more. <laughs> you got right. more. So I was really excited, really excited, right? Because they were like, we're bringing out Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. I was like, what the fuck is this? So it's Final Fantasy VII, another remake, a remaster with really cool graphics. Um, Crisis Core, which is the prequel to Final Fantasy VII. And there was another Final Fantasy, which has only been on mobile in Japan, that's coming out everywhere else. And there's another game. It was game. A with Advent Children, wasn't it? Yeah. I believe yeah, so I was watching this trailer thinking, oh, I fucking, I've completed Final Fantasy VII probably about 20 times, but I'm really liking this this art style. Like, when they're talking, it's like a manga character comes up on the side of the screen, and, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, I could play this. No, it looks like a, I was thinking to myself, oh, this looks like a Switch game. This would really be cool on a Switch or something. And it looks like it's turn-based as well, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like, like when it cuts to the combat. Yeah. You know, and... I was just thinking, yeah, this. I think they've done a really nice job with this. It looks nice, and then, and then it comes up on the screen, coming to Android and iOS in twenty twenty two. I was like, you, oh my god, censorship. Oh, I can't believe it. Mobile phone again. What the fuck is going on? I mean, and it looks so good as well. And I'm like, oh, why just mobile phone? Why are you doing this to me? Are you just wanting to give me a heart attack? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, it. it looks so good. Oh, Doja de Cerberus as well. Oh, man, it just fucking pissed me off. I'm going to have to buy a Razor Kishi just for this, aren't I? Oh, you bastards. I hate my life. So that's my Sensei Switch moan out of the way, guys. Um, I'm not happy. Not happy it's, with Square Enix at all. You know, and, yeah. and, and it's just it's just how how this company... Because I've got another... Well, I think we're going to moan about another game that's um, been published by Square Enix later, but I'm not going to mention it now because that's not news. But um, back in the day, right, Squaresoft, when they were Squaresoft... The games trickling out of that company were divine. They were magical, mystical, amazing, greatest games of all time. As soon as they merged with Enix to become Square Enix, most of their games, Final Fantasy game, or well, most of their games have been dog shit. Absolute dog shit, apart from a few. And it just upsets me as a mega fan. One, the PS exclusivity when you're a multi-platform company. You can fucking shove it, you cunts. And then making all these mobile phone games, you can fucking have it, you pricks. Oh, <laughs> so annoying. So, so annoying. It looks quite good, that Final Fantasy game. I'll probably get it. I can play it on the train. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can play it on the shit. Exactly. Oh, exactly. God. 
they're going to make was it Final Fantasy VII plop soon, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, that's my rant over. Anything else you guys want to say on that sort of news before I move on? I look forward to the um, the follow up um, news piece you do on it. Okay, so I do actually. <laughs> this has been quite a lot of news this week. So just sticking with Sony, um, they are getting rid of one of their studios, Japan Studio. Now, if well, you don't know, the, well, the downsizing it. Yeah. Did, did you hear why they're downsizing it? I didn't see the reason why. Go on. This is the company that apparently still cares about the Japanese market. Yeah, so <laughs> so if you want to know so, what games that they've published and made and helped publish, you've got I've got a few examples: Demon Souls, Parappa the Rapper, Everybody's Golf, Knack, Bloodborne, and The Last Guardian are just a few of the. They they I mean on their wiki page is over fifty games. As well, it? Yeah, there's stuff. loads of games on there. So I just I wanted to give a few examples, but I didn't see the reason why, Darren. No, sorry. Basically, they wanted to focus on making games more tailored to the Japanese market, and Sony didn't want that. Uh, well, they are in Cali now, aren't they? The land of the they're, lefty crazy. They, <laughs> yeah, they are being badly mismanaged, by my fucking opinion. Well, what well, it well, it reminds mind, me like, really badly mismanaged. Well, it reminds me. It reminds me of the. I don't know if you've watched, guys have watched the documentary on the downfall of Sega, um, Sega Japan and Sega America were two separate entities, and one of the downfalls of Sega was actually they weren't. They stopped listening to what the Americans wanted, and then they all got fucked up. But it seems like it's gone opposite now, where they've left. Japan, because I think the, the the main company of Sony's in Japan, it's just the PlayStation, it's, yeah, it's just part the PlayStation of Sony, division, yeah. Uh, which yeah. is their highest, um, which is I think is their biggest money maker out of the whole Sony division. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's crazy. So anyway, is that is that all you want to say on that news, Darren? Is that is that what it was? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just another typical shame and. Yeah, they basically told them that they wanted to t- uh, to make games that more suit the Western market. Yeah, which again bizarre. gets rid of like a lot of the unique identity that platform once had. <coughs> yeah, cool. Right, next piece of news. I'm going to quite enjoy just saying this news very very quickly. I'm just going to say to everyone listening, I told you so. Did I'd say that it's fucking creepy when you go I, to your mic like that? I, Jesus Christ! I, I, told, I, I told you all that this Jesus would happen. Christ. Stop yeah. it, please. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to say, I told you so. So this is about Anthem. I don't know if you haven't heard the news. Anthem, EA are not working on Anthem anymore. It all all work on Anthem has completely stopped. The game is dead. You can still play it. And. The game is shit. So before I've it even come it. out, before it even come out, yeah. I said to everyone, don't buy this game. It's going to go the way of the dodo. Oh, no, Webby, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be the best game ever. Come out, dog shit. And EA have been promising, oh, yeah, we'll fix it. We'll we'll, we'll sort it out and we're going to make an Anthem 2.0. They've come out and said, sorry, but the game's dead. So fuck all you guys. He spent 50 quid on this piece of shit product. It's dead. Ha ha! It, Listen it to me. It wasn't financially viable for them to do an anthem. No, no, exactly. Because, like I said before, the the people that obviously owned the original, they're going to come back briefly, but then <coughs> that's going to kind of taper off. Yeah. And the people that didn't yeah. bother with it the first time probably aren't going to bother with it either the second time round. So, yeah. it just seemed like a big waste of development mm-hmm. and money to actually even do it. Exactly. Unless you have the big launch and they play, in, install power um, player base, you're fucked. It's a bit like what's yeah. happened to the Avengers now. That's fucked. Oh, that's, that's dead. The, 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 oh, who, that's who published Squeenix that? Well, oh, yeah, I was going to say, who published that? Oh, yeah, Squeenix. <laughs> oh, funny that. Um, yeah, they seem to be pushing out a lot of um, not great games. I'm going to talk about another demo that they've pushed out as well in a bit. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, other piece of news. 
for PC fans, Days Gone is coming to the PC in springtime. So it's no longer a PlayStation exclusive. So that's a nice piece of news for PC More gamers who don't own a PlayStation. On boxes from Sony. <coughs> Lols. Well, and there's been news <laughs> that um, there was an interview. Oh, I don't have it on. It was in GQ magazine, I believe. Um, the guy who runs PlayStation. It was a PlayStation. superbly timed. Yes. Oh, Not yeah, because you linked it to me, it didn't you? Coincidental <laughs> interview that leaked on the very day that Sony were getting dragged over the coals for censorship on Twitter. I know, and I know. Then all of a sudden, a load of news comes out from the dodgy company that covered it all up. <laughs> yeah, so, um, <laughs> um, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, what was it? Yes. GQ article. Yeah, so there's going to be... Yeah, so I think it was GQ. So one of the big magazines, they've come out and said that more, um, many PlayStation 5 Sony studio games are going to come to PC in the next few years. So that'll be interesting to see. And also another piece of news from Sony, they are going to be bringing out a PlayStation 5 VR headset. Ooh. It's not coming out this year, but it could come out next year. They haven't given a date on it, but they said it definitely is not coming this year. So that's a so could, because a lot I of mean, people I, are thinking I'm interested. that. Interested. Yeah. I did love the the original PSVR and the fact that they've said it's going to be single wire because the the wire and the setup for the original was a bit of a pain in the arse. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. obviously they said it's going to have much better tracking functionality and better resolution on the screen and everything like that so hopefully you can get rid of the wire mesh effect yeah yeah so i think that plagues quite a few units so i'm actually quite pleased at that news just from a perspective that a lot of people thought that sony had given up on the vr um and it's nice to see them carrying on with with that because i could have easily said oh it's not working for us we'll just bin it but it's nice to see them actually per- persevering with something so so that's pretty cool. Um, one last piece of news is Halo Infinite. <coughs> There's been some new screenshots come out, and because um, we all know about the debacle uh, with the Microsoft event, or well, was it E3? Was it E3? Uh, yeah. It uh, no. Yeah. It was, it was, just just just, it. was it just before or just after? It's after, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, they put out some screenshots and they're looking pretty nice. So um, I know it's not gameplay or anything, but um, I just wanted to mention that um, it's looking quite quite decent. So um, pretty excited, man. Pretty excited to finally see some stuff. So that's all my news. That is, there's been quite a bit of news, but yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It was a roller coaster of news. Yeah, it's a roller coaster Wasn't there a of Nintendo emotions. Direct, or was that last week? The Nintendo that was last Direct. week. We talked about that. What was it this week? Was it a Pokemon thing? Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, what? that was it. Uh, they had you run with that, Dan? Because yeah, I didn't I, pay too much attention. I, I'm not I, I did deny really. Uh, oh. But they did, they did, <laughs> but they did a concert, uh, t- and their post Malone do a ten minute segment. Everyone's fucking. <laughs> And it, it was in, it was a digital version of him. I saw bits of it rapping about sex and, and, and all that to a load of Pokemon in the audience. Sex? Really? Yeah. Wow. It, it, it's all over Twitter. You know, if you listen to a Post Malone record, which I don't recommend you do, um, what? It, it, it's, it's not, it's not right really... Now. Yeah, uh, don't worry about it. There's people in the chat who know what I'm talking about. He's, 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 a, he's a hairy kind of R&B horrible rapper that all the kids love. You know, he's, he's, one, he's one for the Gen Zers. Right, um, okay. And he and he he's basically got tattoos and he yeah, anyway. He he was rapping in front of a load of digital Pokemon uh, about sex and shit. Um which was quite entertaining. And then Kate Perry was doing something as well, but she just turns up for everything now and just give us some money and she'll she'll sing to whatever you want. So it was really, really odd. So twenty five years of Pokemon. Um I never got into Pokemon. It was you know, I was an adult when it first came out. Um I know adults I, I know adults like Nathan who are into Pokemon. I've been in I've been out drinking in a park with Nathan, and he's been having Pokemon battles with the kids in the playground just across. Um, (laughs) (laughs) 
Sorry, Nathan, if you're listening. I'll get a text about this, I guarantee it. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I don't get it, it, but that's what happened in Pokemon this week. You want to trade me an Eakins, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It was yeah, it was Pokemon Go, you remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's 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 all a bit odd. I mean, I, I have actually seen people play that in real life, um, wandering the streets and um, going up to various public <laughs> landmarks and standing there randomly tapping their phones. So um, yeah, I did um, yeah. briefly see some news that there's a new Pokemon open world game coming to the Switch. Yeah, I didn't really pay much attention to that because never did I really play Pokemon because I'm um, a five year old. I think it begins with the letter A. That's that's what I think I believe. But yeah, it, it's it cool. looks decent enough. People are raving about mm. it. They they say they're getting quite excited, which is good news, I suppose. If you're mm. if you're playing something open world Pokemon like, um, yeah, yeah. it might be exciting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and the, the Pokemon fan base is massive. Like, oh, cool. it's huge. Oh, and then yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They had that. Um, I'm not sure if you read it. That story in the states. I'm not sure. I think was it McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's Happy Meals. They give it away. Um, packs of Pokemon cards, like limited edition ones. Okay, and, um, that's cool. And there's been a mad rush for, well, well, that's the thing, there's been a mad rush on Pokemons and uh, cards and Happy Meals, and they're all pretty much sold out, and, and there's stuff all over eBay, like there's members of, you know, restaurant staff nicking whole boxes of them. <laughs> Put them up on eBay about $1,500. That's a good um, idea, actually. I mean, they don't get paid very much, these uh, fast food I workers. I, I don't blame them for that. That's if someone pays the fifteen hundred dollars for it. I don't know, um, but yeah, it, it, it's all a bit mad, really. So, mm. but are people going crazy for it again. You know, it's if it's not PS fives, it's bloody Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's what yeah. that's what that seems to be the black market now in the um, in in the in the <laughs> pandemic economy. Yeah. Um, so first it was Amiibos, and then yeah, all sorts. So if I were you, if you if you think about the money, keep your eye out for the next thing that's going to get you know shafted in terms of um scalping yeah i'll keep an eye up or or just buy some bitcoin mate that seems to, to be a solid investment right now That's a, isn't that just a pyramid scheme no mate i mean i've doubled my money on bitcoin it's great yeah. how, how yeah. much money you got you got 10 now uh a little bit more than that but uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> So you, you, I take it you own a fraction of a Bitcoin. Cause yeah, I don't own a whole one. I was going to fucking cash that in, I tell you. It's yeah. tens of thousands of dollars, though, isn't it? A bit, one Bitcoin now. It's got 35 Four, grand. It went up to like, yeah, it did go up to 40 grand the, the, the other day. But it's like it's a pyramid now. scheme. It's a pyramid scheme, for fuck's sake. It, I, well, I the, the, same the, person? the whole uh, share market <laughs> and shares thing is a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Really. But what what's the end of this bit Bitcoin? How do you I mean people's? What do you you spend them? But as far as I know, you buy drugs on them on the fucking. Dark no, way. you can even buy. Yeah. Right, you <laughs> can now. Off, eh? You can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. How many Bitcoin for a Tesla? Oh, well, well, how much is a fucking Tesla? I don't know. I've never. I've never <laughs> even looked. Seven grand. grand. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> got like two two Bitcoin. There we go. I mean, Job it, done. It, I mean. People saying it's the economy of the future, but I, I, I still get my head. I try and get my head around how they mine it, blockchains and all that, and and, and the security behind it. And and every single time I look at it, there's people at the top getting richer, and everyone jumping on at the bottom, trying to get a little bit of of, the, of it as well. And to me, that is work. Yeah, that is like a timeshare, like a bloody pyramid scheme, and something's gonna fucking go wrong. Someone's well, going to pull the plug and Bitcoin's going to collapse. Excuse my ignorance. I'm going to get loads of abuse now because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm, I'm quite happy to sit in my blissful ignorance. Well, there you uh, go. But I will take, well, when I will all those people that own parts now. of Bitcoin are multi-millionaires, Dan, will be like, but I told not you everyone so. Could, not everyone could be a multi-millionaire, though, can they? I know, I know. I'm not messing. I mean, but yeah. I mean, your, your, your £10 in Bitcoin might give a 20 quid in a year's time. Well, i put a little bit more than that into Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> you see my point, though. Yeah, you I know. See what you're, point. Oh, you're, I know not, what you're, you're not, not going to be able to buy a house with it for fuck's no. sake. Well, if I put enough in, I could have done. But there, but there we go. Well, that's the thing. It's it's, it's, it's it, every single thing is a gamble. It's yeah. It's nonsense. Sometimes do those risks pay off. Yeah, if it's the right time, at the right place. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Go for Doge instead. Dogecoin. Oh yeah, no, I I own some Dogecoin as well and some Ethereum. So I'm I'm in there, yeah, mate. I mean, Dogecoin's like a bloody spring and it's up and down every other day well that was actually created from a reddit meme and because elon oh, yeah. musk has been talking about it on twitter it's skyrocketed 
So this I mean, is why I'm, it's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be we're going to be talking about games here. So anyway, take my advice, buy some Bitcoin. Right? Are we going to talk about what, what we've been playing? Well, I've got yeah. a bit, a uh, little bit of news. Oh, peeps, there's news. Got, Go for it, mate. Well, he well, got Bitcoin. Clarky um, put in the Facebook group chat about the R Type game that's coming out. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think that's 30th of April. Yep. So, yeah, R Type um, Final is a Two. Classic from this back in the cool. day. Yeah. Um, super hard, if I remember. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. So there uh, is a. Um, is this actually there, a remake of the original, or is it an actual sequel? Uh, or it or, looks. Or what? It looks like a semi sequel with with the core mechanics, um, because there is a a, a, a high res uh, version on some consoles. I think I stepped on the Switch because I own it. Where you had R Type One and R Type Two with jazzed up. In um, graphics, there's also on the um, Xbox 360 because I own an arcade on D- that. Yeah, um, R-Type Dimensions, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, so, mm-hmm. I mean, this to me looks like a, a brand new R-Type. Is it? Would you say that, peeps? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. So old school classic, and um, yeah, a lot of these games are coming back um, like this. Like, I mean, the Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, on the Switch. I that's out now. It. That's thirty yeah, I- quid. Uh, well, 25. You know, 25 yeah, that's a lot of money. I've got it. Yes. It's out now. Yes. Okay, yeah. Friday. I've got it. I haven't, I haven't bought oh. it yet because. Um, Is it Nintendo I've got, I've got, only? Yes, yeah, at yeah. the moment. Uh, I've got, I've got too much to. Yeah, I've got the too Nintendo much to play. Nintendo tax. <laughs> yeah, but um, we'll see. I'll get it eventually. It might be in sale in a couple of months, so I might get it then. But I've got too much to play at the moment. Um, and the other big news is. Um, I managed to source an Xbox Series X this week. Yes, oh, yes. you did, didn't you? And so did yes. Ruski Do, one of our favourite yeah. community members. Yeah, so um, as you know, we've been um, hunting high and low since uh, release. Um, we downloaded the Hotstock app, which is hit and miss. Um, sometimes it'll um, it'll ping to tell you there's some in stock and you go and and um, there's nothing left. But um, I had to be up at work for four o'clock in the morning, and I, when I got up, I checked my phone, and it, um, the hot stock thing had pinged. Um, <laughs> Xbox Series X is um, in stock at Argos. I was like, oh, all right, and I just thought, oh, well, I'll click the link as normal, and then there'll be nothing left as normal. Clicked it, and they were, there they were. Um, Gold. So ordered one. Um, the only thing is I did have to, well... Um, you know, with Argos, it'll um, when you put in your postcode, it'll tell you where the nearest one. Well, there was one in Bourne, where I live, um, but by the time I'd faffed around putting my card details and stuff in, it had gone. But luckily, there was still one left, but it was in Grantham, um, which is only about <laughs> it's only about a twenty minute drive for me. So, well, I thought, well, yeah, I'll do that, no problem. So, yeah, put it in, took the money, and um, went and collected it after work. Um, nice. Ding dong. I, wouldn't, I, didn't, I kept saying to the missus, I'm not going to believe that it's going to happen until it's actually in my hands. Because I had visions of during the day uh, and uh, getting an email from Argos saying, sorry, but uh, we're not being able to fulfill your order. But no, I came up and uh, I collected it, got it home. Um, first impressions, I got it out of the box and first impressions was it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, mm-hmm. It's still, right. still big-ish, but not... That's what she massive. said. <laughs> um, it's just it's not the most attractive looking thing it's just a square rectangular type box but um, it still won't fit under my um, TV or in the unit um, so I've had to put it sort of behind it's hidden behind the TV oh you've moved it's it from something... the carpet now after my disgust yeah, was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I showed a picture of the guys in our chat um, the picture of the Xbox and they noticed it was it was on the floor. It was on the carpet next to my TV, but that was sort of only temporary until I'd sorted out all my bits underneath the TV. Because um, under the TV at the time, I had the PlayStation 4, um, Xbox, and my Skybox. And uh, there's not really enough room for them three. I always have to, I had to put the Skybox on top of my PlayStation, which is I didn't really want to do because obviously the heat isn't that they give out. Um, yeah. So in a way, it does look a bit neater under my TV now because um, I've only got the PlayStation and the Skybox, and then the um, 
the uh, Xbox is hidden away behind the television. Mm. But, um, yeah, I was just saying to the guys in the chat, I mean, it doesn't feel like a new Xbox, really, because obviously we've said it before, but the, the dash and everything is the same. So it don't feel like it's new. Um, they didn't even 4K the dashboard either, did they? No. <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, so I set it all up and I thought, well, it just feels like I'm just on my other Xbox, really. But until you put in um, a Series X game, um, FIFA, I put in was the first one, which is um, when I purchased it last year when it came out, I did purchase the optimised uh, version so that when I, because I knew I was going to get an Xbox X at some point. Um, so I put, played that and you could tell straight away the difference. It just looked so much more. Uh, crisper 4k um because bearing in mind i my s i had the white s which is not the that is the four is that a 4k one it, i think it played 4k blu-rays but it didn't actually yeah. play 4k uh, games no right yeah so that's probably why i could notice a difference um because i'd gone from that to the to the 4k so yeah you can definitely tell um in fifa and in warzone to be fair yeah that's good. Oh yeah, I've got one. Um, Is um, yeah. are, are yeah. you going to get Watch Dogs Legions again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll wait for that to come out on Game Pass or, uh, until it's like five quid in the bargain bucket. <laughs> Fair play. Because <laughs> the uh, multiplayer for that's coming uh, next month, allegedly. That everyone oh, gives a shit about. That's going to be so bad. Does anyone gives a shit? Yeah, so I mean, they've been, that's weird. That is. Uh, because obviously the game did come out with quite a bit of hype. Um, it's typical UB though, isn't experience. it? But yeah, why bring a why bring a multiplayer when the game's pretty much dead now? Um, why bring a multiplayer out? How many months now? Two, three months later? Because they rushed they odd. rushed released it for the Christmas market. That's what I saw did. an article saying that they they're hoping it can compete with GTA Online, and I just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> that's the I think I think they're a little bit there. deluded, aren't they? <laughs> Just a bit. Yeah. Typical UB. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, I'm glad you got your your Series X, peeps. Yeah, I'm well, glad you like it. That. I just wanted to tell that little story before we got into because I know you you're going to put it behind a paywall, and I just wanted people to hear that bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just keep trying. Like I say, Rusty <laughs> got one. I think a few other people are getting them. They are. They are releasing them slowly but surely. I think people just keep trying. Yeah. Um, you know, they will become more and more available. I think like Ruski was saying, he I don't know if he had the day off work or something, and he was um, he had like about 10 tabs open with all the uh, Argos Smiths game and just kept refreshing and waiting to see if they got something in stock, and he just got lucky. So um, Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I've still got mine on back order with shop2.net. Fuck knows when that's going to turn up. I... Paid for that on the 5th of February. So it's going to be mm. coming up to a month soon. Might as well invest it in Bitcoin, mate. Oh, I might as well, mate. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll I, mean, I mean, that's I mean that's quite risky because obviously you've paid for it already. Um, yeah. There's only way of cancelling that, so you get your money back and then just try yeah. and do what we've yeah, done I and can just try do. and... I can do, but, but I'm now at that point where I'm like, well... Yeah. I don't have to faff around trying, looking at all these fucking apps and bollocks. I can just yeah. sit here and just play the waiting game, you know? Yeah, cross your fingers and hope it comes. Yeah, yeah. just hope they don't go bust and take my money with them. I think it'll be okay, mate. Yeah, I know. I've got Shop PayPal protection, fine. mate. I'm okay. Good. Cool. All right, shall we get into what we've been playing then? Yeah. To listen to the rest of this week's show, please subscribe at patreon.com forward slash 360 gamercast. When you subscribe for as little as five pounds a month, you get a podcast episode every single week of the year. An awesome Discord rank as well, with its own private chat room, and your own feed on any podcast app to listen to the show. It does not work with Spotify, however, so you'll have to use an app such as Pocket Cast, which I have to say is really, really awesome. Again, that website is patreon.com forward slash 360 gamercast. You know you want to support the show. A fiver a month is not a lot of money to spend. Come on, guys. Don't be tight. 
fiver a month. Love you lots. See you on the other side. Thank you.